secret bases. Why are they so important to this? Because you might need them for when you're playing on an SMP or a survival multiplayer world. You might want to use these in case you have some very devious friends. So I've made the top 5 designs that I could come up with on the spot. So these were just completely on the go. And most of these are pretty easy to do. Most of them don't even require redstone. Now the, these are on bedrock edition. So you could still try these on Java technically. Now if you guys don't know, today, the day this comes out, is my one year anniversary from when I first posted my first YouTube video. So this is also commemorating it. So this is a part two to that. All right, guys, so we're going to go in order. Um, I don't know if this will be scuffed at all, but I'll be sure to fix it if it is. First base. Oh, OK, we're starting with this one. So basically, this base is kind of cool because usually there's a lot of these mountain biomes and, you know, they, they have this thing called powdered snow. And I use this torch to mark it down, but you can really use anything, or if you're really good with memory, you'll be able to go here, and you're in. Look at that. I may have put a little too much in here. Uh, you got, you know, your stuff. Obviously nothing in there. And bubble elevator for an exit. Then you can use the powdered snow to hide your exit this really unique design and it, it's pretty easy to use you know no redstone really required you don't even need the bubble elevator okay so in a village there's sometimes a house with a blast furnace and what you can do is is you can hook up a redstone system to make it do that and what you can put here, what you can put here is a minecart that, on, there, and then boom, you got a, you got an easy secret base, and uh, I, th I think it's a little more clear how much effort I put into this base, but yeah, you can, you can get some cool stuff in here. Uh, you, there's auto smelters, you know, it's pretty easy design. You got the room, bubble elevator, which I'll go up in a minute. And the enchantment room. Which is it's pretty cool, you know? You can do a whole bunch of things here. And obviously you can expand it. And when you go up the bubble elevator, it should take you here. And what you can do is you can hopefully look for the pens for where animals are at. Because that will really help you not being noticed. Because who actually goes in there, right? third base is kind of um you could say unique but uh basically it's underwater i'll show you what it looks like in a minute here and yeah that's just about it um you know you just need to put the signs here and make sure but anyways make sure there are signs here so the water can't get in and you got a whole luxurious base you know you got you got goodies and just to show off a little you got a mine that will go down the cave you got a, a emergency exit and we also have this thing which i'm actually super proud about but we have a water stream so you can get back up and of course, when you go to the exit, it's never truly an exit without very complicated bubble tube. And then you have a trap door, and that's basically hidden. Like, you saw me right there. You, hold on. From where I spawned, you wouldn't be able to, like, even notice that was there. Like, you. okay, so it's right there. You wouldn't even be able to notice that. Now, 
let's say you are swimming and you do happen to notice the trap door, you would have to be intentionally looking in the water and you can't get down either. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty well hidden. Next base is in a village, and you probably wouldn't notice it at first. Like, I don't even know if you saw it. It's another village one. But this one's more interesting. So we have a blacksmith right here. And, you know, if, if I went in, you probably wouldn't notice anything much. But, like, there's a hole here. And you can't get up here unless it is nighttime, which will happen right now. Since it is night... We can click on that. Try again. And there we go. <laughs> I don't, it's not supposed to take more than one try. But you got a, you know, a small little escape base, you know, if you're being chased. And then this is really just how you get out. It's a pretty easy base to make, you know. It doesn't even take any redstone. You just need to be able to, you know, be able to place a block there. Really easy, you know. Very easy base to start off an SMP on. And for the last base, I think it's one of the best, and it is used a lot. I think you can see where I'm going with this. I mean, just... Wow. Wow. We'll get to that noise in a minute. We got a nice storage area over here. We we got a mine. And what you can do here is if you place a sign there, you take no fall damage. And then you can make an elevator here. So only half of it on this side is actually... This half of it is water. The other half isn't, so you can get up. And this is this is really loud. But you can have your own nether portal, and, you know, you can have that anyways. And then, of course, it wouldn't be a base without the bubble elevator, which is actually kind of interesting. And the exit is really cool, I, I guess. You could always change this. But you just gotta, you know, go through this crawl space. Make sure you put signs above the sand, and place the sand on the sign. If you place it above it, it will break. So make sure you do do that. All right. And that is how you kind of get out of that. I hope you guys did enjoy. It was fun kind of reminiscing back to the first video I made. And uh, you should definitely check that video out. And you should check some of my other videos out. Because they are goaded. Trust me. And if you've made it this far, you should definitely subscribe. Because why not? I'm going to be making some great content pretty soon here. All right. Peace.